who gets in and who doesn't get in is decided. All right? You may recall the, the, the acronym that we gave concerning reflection and then imagination, volition, em emotion, and reason. You All better of that preach. is a part of the... Good morning, y'all. It is Sunday morning. I'm just getting off work. And I'm just sitting here while my car is warming up. I turned on my radio, and lo and behold, Bishop Michael Blue of the Door of Hope Church of Marion, South Carolina, is on preaching. And I love to hear him preach. And actually, I supposed to be going to visit me and a friend of mine that I met down at the beach. We supposed to go visit his church this morning. So, um, actually, she's called me and left a message. And I don't really know if I'm going because a friend of mine's mother died. And I want to go to that funeral. That funeral is at 3. And you know we might not get out of church about 3. Because we got to let the Lord have his way, honey. Because the question demanded Let me see. a response from you without you even deciding to respond. Many of you just got through thinking about your childhood best friend only because a question was asked and something happened in your mind that made you answer me without even trying. What you laughing at? Okay. As soon as I begin the music, if you're familiar with Gilligan's Island, Okay, so she just wanna know. Okay, I'ma go. Let me call this other lady. Hold on, y'all. I should have done this yesterday. Let me see if Minister Rachel. Cause I can follow her. Oh, good morning, good morning. Of a creative expression. Are you listening to me? Now, thank God, I'm not an enemy. But hey, Minister Rachel. How you doing? Good, this is Yvette. <laughs> oh, good, doing good. Are you going to your church this morning? You in Fayetteville? Girl, what is you doing in Fayetteville? <laughs> huh? Oh, your college reunion. Oh, well, that's a good reason. That's a good reason. Okay, well, me and a girlfriend of mine, we was going to go to um, your church this morning, and I was going to follow you down there. But um, I just know it's right behind the police department, right? Yeah, I know how to get to Marion, South Carolina, yeah. But I guess once I get in town, it won't be hard for me to find that. Yeah, because I've been, you know, I've been before, it's just been a while. Yeah. Hmm. Well, okay then. All right. <laughs> you know I am, hun. I might get two or three of them. <laughs> All right then. You have a good time. Oh, I, I will. Bye bye. Well, she's not going to be there, so I'm going to just have to find the church. I can find it, though. It's not hard to find. The reason Ooh. why many of our children, you, you may as well be honest, the reason why many of our children can now imagine themselves perpetrating heinous murders, <laughs> brutal uh, acts of violence, is because of the fact that their gates are being constantly bombarded. Yes. That's constantly right. bombarded by the wrong kind of stimulation, mm -hmm. the wrong kind of picture, the wrong kind of auditorium, mm -hmm. and it is having a, 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 a cumulative effect that is a dangerous effect. Amen. The senses of gateways into the body and through the body into the soul. When y'all be in church service, do you hate, you know how the pastor be preaching? And it seemed like when he preached today, somebody, everybody got this person in their church, two or three of them. But I know every church got one of them. The pastor preaching, and as he preaching, the person would be saying, you better preach, pastor. That's right. Or, you know, they be screaming out or calling out stuff while he preaching. Does that bother anybody other than me?
Does it bother anybody other than me? I mean, my God. You know, it's okay to say amen. Sometimes I even say, you better preach. You know, but just constantly, I mean, you can overhear you and the pastor's preaching. You can overhear the person in the congregation yelling out. Yes, preach. You better preach. Yeah. Oh, my God. I, I can't hardly take that. I, I really can't. That might just be a pet peeve of mine. You know what I'm saying? But it, it just irks me to death. You know? Just let the pastor preach. You know, whoever preach, let them preach. Maybe your time will come. Just wait on your calling. You know, wait on... <laughs> I just be really wanting to say, will you please shut up? Hush! But that just, it just bothers me. But I don't know, maybe it's good for the, I don't know, maybe pastors like that, because maybe while they saying all that, it's encouraging them to keep preaching, to keep preaching. I don't know. But um, everybody got one of them persons in their church. Now I'm trying to decide, am I going to, y'all, let me tell y'all some good news. I just thought about it again. I'm going to say this in the beginning of my video. This is some good news, y'all. I was looking at YouTube yesterday. Do y'all know who uploaded a video yesterday? Can you believe this person uploaded a video? Ain't been on YouTube in how many months? Is it one, two, or three months, maybe? The person ain't made a video. But honey, I seen this person made a video yesterday. I was like, oh my God, she made a video. Dark and lovely 702, y'all. She made a video yesterday. <laughs> hey girl, I was so happy to see your video. Yes, I was. Don't let it be so long the next time. You know, you be missing people when they don't upload videos. There's a few people that haven't uploaded videos in a while that I'm sort of missing. And she was one of them. Dark and lovely 702. Hey, y'all. But, yeah, she uploaded a video yesterday, y'all. So, that's my girl. Um, I'm trying to decide. Am I going to go to this service in the morning? Because I just got off work. It's 8.15 a.m. I'm going to have to go home, get dressed, and see, my friend, she just called me and said, call her and let her know what time we're going to leave, so she ready, because we've been talking about it all week that we was going, but, you know, my other friend, her mother passed, and I want to go, you know, I, I need, I didn't go to the wake last night, so I, I do need to go to the funeral, and the funeral starts at 3, so I would have to leave Mary in South Carolina this morning, and go straight to that funeral and I probably won't get home to get no sleep to about 6 o'clock so I have sleep from 6, 8, 9 I only have like 2 or 3 hours of sleep and I gotta come right back to work sometimes you just have to do what you got to do don't you but that's probably what I'm gonna have to do that today I just snorted did y'all hear me just snort I'm sorry but sometimes I snort when you be trying to clear your throat. You know what I'm saying? And I don't edit my videos. I've never edited a video. Never. Mm -mm. This is just who I'm is. Oh, Lord. Well, let me call my friend right quick and tell her that I'm just getting off work. I'm missing Bishop Preach right now. God has given you some creative expression, and that creative expression lays hold on somebody's life. You, the, that creative expression that you have just with the hair, there's some soul, the gates fly right open, wide open when they see that certain... I love to hear people ring tones. What makes you an expert on marriage? Because you can twist my hair a certain way, but the creative expression opens the door for you to 
Hey Thelma, this is Yvette. It's about 8.15 a.m. I'm just getting off work, but um, I think we should leave about uh, maybe 10. No, maybe 9. Well, Lord have mercy. I'll try to leave about 9.30 or 10 o'clock. Um, yeah, I think that'd be a good time. Actually, I'm, I'm really... Yeah, about 9, 9.30, I think I'll leave. But if you want to, you can call me back. All right, then. Bye. They think that you, they're cussing this. Uh, man, I love talking to you. And I, I, I can talk to you about anything. It's because the gate of taste and smell are open up. And the Bible said that Jesus said, I'm going to give you supernatural keys. Uh, God said, I'm going to give you supernatural keys. Amen. Into access, into lives of young men and women. And ladies and gentlemen, I claim it. I claim that God is going to enable everything he put in me and everything he put around me that he's going to activate it he's going to kick it into full gear and he is going to call souls to be one of the glory of god we are going to possess look, look at look at get, can, can, can you stand a little bit more go to genesis chapter 22 quicker now i want you to see okay y'all my vehicle is warm i'm getting ready to get on down the road Doodle.